So yes, what, what have you particularly enjoyed about having the EYC here at the uh, Turbidon Performance Center? Well, it's been a very useful and friendly conference. I'd like to thank our Turkish hosts, especially during this very difficult time, and I would like to extend them my sympathies and my condolences for the recent terrorist attacks. It's been very helpful having the EYC here at the summit, and we are particularly grateful that a youth summit was incorporated within the agenda. We think it's incredibly useful to bring young conservative leaders from across Europe together, including our colleagues from Turkey, to learn from one another and to avail of world-class training. And it's obviously very helpful for us to mix with our colleagues in the senior party who are themselves some of the leading political figures in Europe and to learn from them, to network with them. And um, what do you think, uh, a number of the delegates have told me that they think that youth is an important part and they've enjoyed the fact that there was the Youth Summit. Um, what, what do you hope uh, that the CRI in the future can, can project onto the youth of, of Europe? Well, I think the, the Conservative Reform Initiative is incredibly important for spreading our values to areas of the world which don't currently benefit from having a, a liberal democracy or from having strong centre-right voices. I think it's incredibly important that we focus on the young people of these societies because this is a work in progress and ultimately it may be their time before they can offer a credible centre-right alternative for their countries. And I think it's incredibly important that we invest in these young people because up until now the country in the Middle East and North Africa haven't had the benefit of a credible centre-right alternative and I believe that a large reason why these countries suffer the political turmoil that they do is because ideas such as the rule of law, property rights and individual freedom haven't been properly laid out as a credible alternative and I believe that the young people who we have been working with during this summit are the individuals that take these ideas and to advocate them for their home countries. So what would you like to see EYC focus on in the future? I would like to see EYC focusing on promoting free markets, free nations and free peoples for whatever society which we operate in and for whatever young people wish to learn about and advocate these ideals. Mm, and uh, practically what, what, what are you looking to, to build in the future? Well the EYC needs to focus on identifying young conservative leaders, developing those leaders with the best training that can be offered and connecting them with political leaders across Europe so that they can gain from those networks and they can gain inspiration and expertise. And if you were to give me an optimistic message to, for all our delegates here, what would it be for us to, to, to look forward to? I think we should look forward to advancing the cause of liberty both in Europe, North Africa and the Middle East. And I believe that we have identified some of the really talented young people who can go forward and do this and all we have to do is provide them with the training and the support and the encouragement which they need. And um, I mean, do you want to talk more about EYC a little bit, and what what, what you what you hope to uh, to achieve with that in the coming year? Well, EYC brings together conservative leaders from a number of countries in Europe and in Turkey. We hope to grow our membership into areas where we haven't had a presence in the past. We hope to continue to advocate the ideals of the rule of law, property rights and individual freedom and to encourage other young people to advance those ideals as well. We see ourselves having a tangible and positive effect in the societies in which we live in and to promote these values and to promote individual freedom. Very good. I've got what I need. If you want to do another recorded message to camera, uh, you're welcome to. It's actually well. Excellent. The European Young Conservatives recently held our annual Youth Summit in Antalya, Turkey. We brought together young Conservative leaders from across Europe to network, to learn from one another and to engage in world-class training. This is what they got up to. <laughs> 